That person who helps others simply because it should or must be done, and because it's the right thing to do, is indeed, without a doubt, a real superhero. I don't like spiders. They creep me out. The webs are all over the place, and quite frankly, I'm always worried about getting bitten by one. And I think maybe that's how Peter Parker felt. Maybe before that fateful radioactive spider bit him, he had a fear of spiders himself. It feels weird to try to connect so hard with a fictional character, but after 60 years, I find myself one of almost millions of people who fall in love with that webhead. So what is it about Spider-Man? Well, I think it all goes back to what Stan Lee and Steve Ditko set out to do. Make Spider-Man relatable. The whole point of that mask was anyone could wear it. It doesn't always have to be middle-class white boys such as myself. But honestly, what matters is getting this out of the way. Why do I connect with Spider-Man? My first experiences with the web crawler really came from some toy of him with a spider motorcycle as a young kid. It was a cool toy. I think it's lost somewhere in storage. If I weren't playing with it a lot, I just don't know where it is. But my first real experience with Spidey was watching The Amazing Spider-Man on DVD in 2014. And while my opinions of the film have soured over the years, I can't deny that watching Peter Parker and truly getting to know the origin of the character helped me understand why people love the web crawler. So as the years went on, I became more interested in the character. I watched more of his shows, his movies, even the comic books. I started gravitating towards my favorite stories with the character. It all got to me why Spider-Man means so much to me. Just couldn't articulate it in words. So I thought I would go and ask others what Peter Parker meant to them and find some answers. I got into Spider-Man from my parents, well mainly my dad, because my dad, like, he always used to show me a bunch of things when, ever since I was like younger and stuff like that. And like he showed me like Spider-Man. Then I used to like watch it, like uh, watch like Spider-Man stuff on TV. I'm I'm a product of the 1990s, so like most people of my uh, generation, my gateway into Spider-Man was through the the animated show. And Spider-Man being the kind of colorful, larger-than-life character he is, is the one I really gravitate to. Peter Parker is like a really relatable character. In comics, I read like a couple issues with Peter Parker, and I'm just like, this is almost basically me. I mean, this guy is basically me. As a kid, I always wanted to be Spider-Man, and now I feel like as an adult, I'm becoming more and more like Peter Parker over the years. Like he had actual relationship problems, school problems, family problems. That's stuff that people can relate with no matter what age you are. I certainly did, and I was only like, you know, but somewhere between three and five years old. I guess there's something about a character who has power and wants to do the right thing with it. He He's not, again, perfect. He does what he can, and he will always do what he can, and that's something you can always enjoy. I did have a couple of Spider-Man collectible comics, a couple of the Masterworks limited edition ones. I read a couple of those, and they were just phenomenal. I don't know if it was the very first comic I ever read, but definitely the first comic I ever remember, like, going to the shops myself to buy it was the very first issue of Ultimate Spider-Man uh, by Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Bagley, which oh. is... Still to this day, maybe my favorite comic book series. He has fun abilities, he's smart, he's charming, and he does fun hero stuff. And what he represents is that idea of the everyman. I think what separates him from a lot of other of the kind of the most famous superheroes, how much when he's out of the costume, he's just a he's just a regular guy. He he still deals with the same problems that everyone else deals with. Oh, well, Spider-Man has always been like a classic and loved by like everybody and I feel like uh, I have no idea like I feel like they'll go on for like forever because a lot of people like Spider-Man he's always going to be like a classic and he's always going to be like around. They're motivated to have hope for things just as how Peter Parker or Miles Morales or any of the other spider people have hope even though their lives are crazy as it is. I would definitely say that Spider-Man is definitely like a symbol of hope. Spider-Man means to me is hope. No matter what happens, you can't give up. And it's that idea of no matter who is under the costume, no matter who is wearing the mask, Spider-Man still represents the same thing, which is overcoming adversity, which is kind of responsibility, putting the needs of others before yourself and being selfless and, and being heroic and helpful and looking after your community. I can be able to save anybody just like him. 
in school I was always ridiculed and I was always bullied and then and eventually I found someone in comics that I was relatable to. I found Peter Parker and I saw him as Spider-Man, a hero who saved people from incoming danger, fought bad guys, and I wanted to be Spider-Man when I was a little kid. Now still, Spider-Man is still relevant today because of pretty much the mark that he had 60 years ago. It's, it's to me, without Spider-Man, my like love of comics and, and kind of both my kind of personal love and my professional career based around studying and discussing them might not happen. So I guess to me, he's a, he's a vitally important character in my life. Being a hero takes a lot of responsibility. And last but not least, with great power comes great responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. After listening to them, it started to hit me how I do connect with them. Like Peter Parker, I struggle to balance my life a lot of the time. <laughs> if anything, making this documentary has made me realize it too. And it's hard, especially when sometimes it feels like the whole world is against you. And I've had my low points. But then I remember, Spider-Man doesn't give up. Sure, a date ruined or some overdue bills might bring him down as much as a pumpkin bomb or a robotic arm. But he always keeps going. And to me, that's what Spider-Man is. Perseverance. We all have great power. So why not accept the responsibility as well? And by doing this documentary, I've learned so much that Spider-Man means to me is that he is a reason to continue to live and grow. And for 60 years, Peter Parker has taught me and a whole lot of other people that. And I have a feeling that he'll continue for generations to come. Spider-Man! Can the Spider-Man come out to play? <laughs>